reassembly. Let's begin. Uh, we will start with putting in some transmission fluid in here. First thing that goes in is the second gear piston. I'm just putting some transmission fluid on here. Boom. Next thing we got is our uh, second gear piston uh, bearings. For the bearing, make sure the edge is right outside here. You can see I can trace around in this little channel here. So that face is up. fluid wouldn't hurt. Now we got our uh, our second gear spring. And here's the tough part. Very little snap ring here. We're gonna have to compress this down. And this should snap into the uh, into the channel in here using a small clamp here. Snap ring will go there. There's the snap ring. There we go. Make sure the snap ring gets into the grooves. Let me show you guys. You have to compress this spring here and you can see the snap rings have the, this channel here that they have to go into. So make sure all these, the snap rings, are inside. If not, you can push it a little bit with a screwdriver to get them in. Make sure that they're all locked. pre-soaked the new clutches and steels. Make sure to do that. So originally, this is the way they had it. You got steel, clutch, steel, clutch. And there's a metal tab here, and there's a big gap and another metal tab here. The one with the slot goes on the right. So line them up and put them back in. Just like that. Same thing here. See the one with the little Cut there. This is the thicker one. Thicker steel. Right back there. Another snap ring.
is our planetary gear set. It's the next to go in. Here's a sun gear. There is another sun gear inside. This ring goes here. There are four holes here that fit on these four holes. Just like that. There's another sun gear inside. There are three planets, one, two, three, surrounding each sun gear. That makes it a dual planetary system. There's a bearing on top. Here's a forward clutch pack that we have to work on right now. All right, so for our for forward clutch pack, we got steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel, clutch, and steel. These steel plates have two sides. There's a more smoother edge and a very flat side. Make sure the flat side is going towards the clutch. Flat side towards the clutch. back in here. There we go. Now we've got another snap ring. Got another gear here. Everything looks good. Last but not least, one more snap ring. You guys love these snap rings, don't you? So you've got this uh, loose bearing here. Okay. This actually goes on here. Take your planetary set, spin it, spin it a couple times until it clicks. There we go. That's done. This will set into here. Just like 
that. Here's our reverse clutch. Same rules apply. We got a steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel, clutch, steel. I think you guys get the point. Only goes in one way. First, we're gonna start off with the steel. Make sure it's straight with the uh, the other clutch you just put in. See, that's not straight. What the fuck, man? Steel. And that is your reverse clutch. You've got another steel cover here. This one doesn't have the notches. Put that back. So here's your reverse piston. Here's a spring. The clutch presses onto the spring for your reverse. Let's put this guy back. And put this guy back. Before we do that, let's just squirt in some fluid. Wouldn't hurt. Here we go. All right, hold it right there, you guys. Um, I screwed up. When you put on the reverse piston, don't just put it on. There's a certain way it goes on. I didn't know that. Check this out. There's a tab here. It goes right there. This is so when reverse is applied, the reverse piston will lock the clutch the reverse clutch. I had it installed this way just like that and the tab here um, you could see the marking right there and it was stuck. I opened it up the car didn't have reverse I thought it was the valve body, I thought it was the solenoids I tried switching the valve body, it wasn't that um, Wow, so I had to pull out the whole tranny again, and um, this was actually stuck, and I had to uh, get a pry bar and pry it out. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage. Um, I'm going to have to bend this tab back up a bit, but when you guys put it on, there is a certain way it goes on. There we go. And uh, that's my screw up. That's for you guys to learn from. Let's continue. We've got another bearing. Make sure the bearing's inside again. Same thing as the other one. Goes right there. Here's the cover. There are two seals here that I will recommend to replace since you're already doing this whole entire shit. One, two, let's get those out. Boom. These two seals should come with your master rebuild kit. 
Here's the other one. seal. Hooray. A little bit of tranny fluid on here. Let's put this guy back. Boom. it for uh, this episode we'll continue with uh, removing some of these uh, seals and stuff and that'll be on uh, another video we still have the front cover housing to cover and also rebuilding the uh, valve pulley assembly so uh, like and subscribe I hope that was uh, resourceful or helpful um, you guys got to see how the uh, rebuilding was done. Yeah, see you on the next one. Thanks.